Hey, welcome back to the Bootstrap 4 Alpha tutorial. My name is Brad from bradhusty.ca and codecollege.ca. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Bootstrap 4 examples to get you up and running quickly. All right, here I am in the examples section. Simply just click the examples uh, tab here in the navigation menu and you'll be taken to the examples and th they say quickly get a project started with any of our examples ranging from using parts of the framework to a custom components and layouts and that's what's really cool about the example section is you could go through and see what they have put together and take all of it or just pieces of it so that you can even spend less time coding HTML and CSS so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna code an example here and I'll show you what it looks like I called it band because uh, it's kind of like a band website if you had an album for sale and you wanted a landing page to feature your album or your band members or something like that and it's, it simply looks like this it's just very straightforward uh, you got your navigation menu um, well you just got like some about and contact information up here for this specific example with a cool little you know drop down from the top there uh, a header section uh, or a hero section with a main and a secondary call to action with a nice background image three cards these are also cards and then just a basic footer uh, and so what I did was I basically took the the album was they what they call it is the album example here so album a one-page template for photo galleries portfolios and more uh, right here and I just modified a few things so I'm just going to show you how to do that and it's going to be pretty straightforward so just follow along head over to this uh, the example section and open up the album uh, example you'll be taken to the example here and you can see obvious similarities it's the same thing it's just I filled it out with what I wanted to fill it out with and that's what you're gonna do so the first thing I want you to do after opening this is head over to your code editor and create two new files band.html and band.css and we're gonna use those to play around with this specific example now what I want to do is first copy uh, the the top and bottom section of our index.html file because we have the doc type, the head, meta, uh, and our basic links and everything like that. So copy from the doc type down to the body, copy that, paste it in band.html, and below that, go back to index.html and copy everything from the bottom, so HTML, uh, to the jQuery and Bootstrap. So that's all, that's all I want you to copy. So copy those and paste it here in your band.html file and within the body tags what I'm going to want you to do now is head back to that example that album example right click and view the source view the page source and now you have access to the HTML and what you're going to do is you're going to copy everything within body so the nav bar the sections all of this stuff down to the footer and stop at the end of the footer don't take any of this core JavaScript or any of that because we don't need it copy it go back to your band.html and paste it right within the body tags now I'm gonna paste it and it's gonna have its own sort of layout uh, they're gonna use the different tabbing conventions uh, different than what I use so I'm just gonna take a moment here and clean it all up and I'll be right back all right, so I've cleaned up my HTML here. All I've done is uh, tabbed things in uh, and I've kind of organized my code. I haven't changed anything, so you should be seeing the exact same thing as me. Save this and see what it looks like in our browser here. So I'm gonna head over to band.html here, band.html, and we'll see uh, roughly something that resembles the album example here. It's not quite the same. Uh, and that is because they actually have some styles, a style sheet that they hooked in specifically for this. So what we want to do is also copy that CSS. So we're going to go view source. And then you can see the custom styles for this template is album.css. Sneaky. Click that and then just copy all of it. Command A, Command C, you copy all of it. Head back to your code editor and go to band.css. And now all you need to do is just hit paste. Now some of these may not be necessary. You can see they even add comments here that said it can be removed just added for demo purposes. So we may need to go through and remove a couple things. Uh, like for example this one we don't need this. So why don't we go through and just tidy up the style sheet just a little bit before we hit save. So I'm going to remove this body. We don't need the body style. 
uh, nav bar margin, nav bar margin, bottom, all that sort of stuff. I went through previously, and there's certain things that uh, I don't really care for stylistically. It doesn't really matter. There's a little bit of margin that they're removing by saying margin bottom zero. So I'm just going to remove that as well. If you want to keep it, you can. Uh, you're not going to break anything by leaving it uh, or playing around with it otherwise. I do encourage you to actually play around with it and make it your own. But what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to modify a few things, take a few things out just to kind of simplify it. I'm also going to remove about and social a and social a hover. I don't want those. Actually, no, leave about, take out social a and social a hover. Jumbotron, I'm going to leave the jumbotron. Uh, the I don't really need this. Jumbotron heading, we're going to leave. Container, we're going to leave. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of styling in the jumbotron in a moment here. Album, we're going to remove this min height. We don't need this because they even said we don't need it. Card, this looks all good to me. Card image, margin, bottom. Everything's good here. Card text, footer, footer P. Okay, save this. And now let's have a look to see what it looks like so far in the browser, in our demo site. So not much really has changed. It's just been a, a few minor things, specifically actually up here uh, that has been changed. So we're going to go and add a few of our own styles in our CSS here. And specifically in card and image, remember how we did max width 100% on the image in our previous style sheet for our just kind of hand coded site? Well, I'm also going to add max width here to just the image within the cards. So now that we've added max width, once we add images to those cards, uh, those images will uh, fit properly within those cards and not be massive like they were in our first example. So head back to band.html. And now we're going to play around with some of this stuff. And so we're going to go within our markup here and we're going to scroll ourselves down to the jumbotron. Uh, no, actually the nav bar here. And we're going to change nav bar brand from, from nav bar uh, brand album to Mason and daughters, just a random band name. You could call it whatever you want actually. And down in our jumbotron, we're going to change a couple things. So instead of album example, Mason, ampersand daughters and then I'm just going to leave this text muted stuff here main call secondary call that looks good to me now we don't need all of the albums uh, or the all of the cards here we only want three so one two and three we're going to remove all the rest and delete those and I'm only going to keep three examples to keep it simple one two and three and we're going to change the data source the holder js stuff to an actual source and image that we have in our image folder image and then guitar i'm going to change the alt text to guitar and the second one remove the data and just have the source attribute this will be image lady guitar i'll say a woman playing a guitar and then the last one, again, data source, just going to change this to source, remove the value of that, uh, change it to image slash mic.jpg. So M-I-C as in microphone. And this will just be microphone as the alt text. Now, if I save this and we'll see what happens to see what it looks like so far, we've got uh, our cards here. So I'm looking here. And I'm um, wondering why none of our styles have been uh, changing. And uh, silly me, rookie mistake here. Uh, the custom CSS is pulling from our styles.css that we created for a previous, previous example. I need it to be band.css. That was uh, my mistake. The custom CSS needs to hook into band.css. So all that work we put into this file so far will actually show up and things will start to look better right away. So we've got our three cards. That looks good. Literally the only thing left is to add our background image here and then uh, and then we're and then we're done. So let's go back to our brackets or code editor and back to our CSS and we're going to go to that jumbotron and in our jumbotron we're going to add a background URL image banjo.jpg uh, background repeat no repeat and then background position that will be center sorry bottom center and then one more background size will be cover now if I save this uh, we should have that background in there great 
Uh, the only other thing now is uh, we want to add this kind of little uh, transparent white box and some text shadow so it has a little bit of contrast because right now you can't read it. Jumbotron paragraph, so under the Jumbotron container, so we're at the end of our Jumbotron styles here, Jumbotron and then paragraph, we're going to say color white and then text shadow 0, 0, 010 pixels RGBA and then we're going to say 0, 0, 0 and then 0 0.5 and one other thing on the, the Jumbotron container, we're going to say background RGBA 255, 255, 255, and then 0.2. That is white uh, with 20% transparency or 20% in the alpha channel. Padding to rem, and then color white. Now, things should be looking much better. Mason and Daughters, and it looks about, about the same. Uh, I did change the button here. I could show you how to do that. Uh, and the other thing is it looks like there's shadow on the buttons here. And on here there isn't. So we need to change that. That's because we said paragraph, uh, the text shadow is going to have uh, text shadow on the paragraph tags. So that means in the markup, in our buttons there, uh, in the Jumbotron right here, it's hidden within a paragraph tag. And I don't want those to be in a paragraph tag. Then I'm just going to change that to a div rather than a paragraph so these buttons don't get those that style. And if you wanted to change the button to a different type of button, you could say button info. And then I'll go back here. And then we're looking exactly the same as our uh, demo site. Or our site looks like the demo site except for a quick little typo here. So let's fix that typo, shall we? Mason and Dahers. And that's it. So let's go check our version of the site. The this works well. We got our little hero section up here. We got our cards and then just the generic footer that they gave us. Uh, and that's that's how you use the bootstrap examples. And this is just one of the examples. You can go to the examples page here. You could take the framework and it takes uh, basic things like the grid or jumbotron. Nav bars, if you just want to copy this out and use this sort of layout. Custom components, like we used cards here. You can have one that has a cover or something like this that has a carousel. Here's just a good example. If you click here, it has a carousel. Something you might want to use. This is a pretty kind of modern looking layout. It actually is kind of going for a startup style layout, which is pretty cool. But uh, if you wait until our next project, we're actually going to be working on a startup style layout that that looks uh, way better than this one. But this is a good framework to start with. Or if you're building a dashboard or sign-in page, you just want a really quick sign-in page for your uh, for your app you're building. There it is, done. You could customize this a little bit, put a background image, and you'd be you'd be off to the races. You'd look great. You got some marketing stuff, blog. Uh, you got a sticky footer, sticky footer with a nav bar different experiments. So there's a bunch of stuff here that you can play around with. And that's why I wanted to show you this, that you could quickly head to the examples page. You can click on the, on the version or the example, copy the source code and the CSS, and you'd be, you'd be good to go and you'd be able to start coding bootstrap style websites in no time. So up next, we're going to be building our final project, the mo modern startup landing page. And this one's a little bit more uh, in depth, actually a lot more in depth. And we're going to be uh, coding it up. It's going to look really good. I think you'll, I think you'll love it. So I'll see you there.